Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're here for Delicious in Dungeon episode 12. So, last episode, we fought the Red Dragon. We took down the Red Dragon, only to find out that Faline has been basically reduced to bones. We got some cute flashbacks of Lyos and Faline's past together, and a very ominous flashback about her telling him that she was, or to stop adventuring for her with her, or something along those lines. I don't forget the exact, I forget the exact quote, but basically, basically it was a very ominous kind of, a uh, goodbye that she gave Lyos. So, who knows if she's going to be revivable. I, th I saw a lot of theories that it's not impossible to revive someone like this, but it's like borderline... It it's borderline impossible. It is extremely difficult, and you would need someone of some super high caliber... Uh, super high caliber magic to be able to revive her in the state that she was in. So, it's going to be rough. Uh, I don't know where we're going to go from here. Um, I did, really didn't expect it to take such a dark turn uh, this series, but we will see where we go from here. I'm very excited to see how this whole situation plays out and see how our party goes about this and what kind of direction the story is going to take from here as we still have about 12 episodes left in the season. So per usual, feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord links are in the description for both of those. As far as the Discord goes, we talk about current anime, past anime, current manga, past manga, and we have non-anime conversations as well, so feel free to join that. As far as the Patreon goes, you get exclusives and uncuts to all my reactions, so feel free to check out either of those of your own will. But now without further ado, stop straight into Delicious and Dungeon, episode 12. Oh god, straight cut to the skull? Oh my god. It's not, it's not unprecedented, but it's not going to be fucking easy either. Like, it's not unprecedented to revive somebody like that, but it, it, very unlikely. Which, if you think about it, that means that if they aren't able to revive her, she's going to be stuck. Her soul is going to be stuck in this dungeon forever until they conquer it. Which actually, that could lead to where the plot's going to go from here on out. Like, I, like, now instead of saving Fallen, we're gonna try to release her soul by conquering the dungeon, defeating the mage who holds all the souls captive. Because, um, from what I understand about how this dungeon works and what they've explained to us throughout the show, uh, people are, people's souls, if they die in this dungeon, are held captive, and that's why you're able to resurrect them uh, much easier, um, is because their souls are stuck in this dungeon. Their souls cannot be freed uh, from this dungeon, so we have to take out the mage that is, uh, essentially keeping this dungeon alive like that in the first place. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Can't distinguish the difference. Uh, I would not be putting my hand out to my face like that, my blood-stained hand. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, okay. You should have to be super, super... A fresh blood and... Oh, God. Jesus Christ. You do. You do. All the dragon's guts and stuff. She's gonna try. Oh! Ancient ma- What?! Okay, Marcial. Jesus. This soundtrack that's playing too? Oh my god. No, is this actually gonna work? Oh my god. Man, Marcial got so serious there. She's gonna use essentially black magic. Forbidden ancient magic that she studied. Okay. Dragon's not all that... All that much different. Oh! Jesus Christ, ow! Oh my god, she's drawing a circle in blood. Oh my god. So they can separate what the bones are. Oh my god. Gotta, they're really trying to sort bones right now to make falling skeletal structure. This is so crazy. This is actually so crazy. There are so many smaller bones there. Ah. We're literally making a puzzle out of remains of dead creatures. Hey, there you go. There's a hand. Oh. Mar 
Martial seems to know a lot about bone structure, which is very interesting as well. It's like a very, very tricky puzzle. You better not be enjoying this. <laughs> oh, Lyos. Somehow, man. It was so intense at the beginning of this episode, and now we've somehow gone comedy out of nowhere, and I, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. The bone structure of falling and wargs. That's true. There'd be so many souls here in this place if it wasn't just humans. I like how she's undone the hair too. It is like she said, different you, you different hairstyles are applicable to different uh, magic types and boost it in different ways. That's also very cool. Well, here we go. Let's see what we do here. Oh, whoa! This is crazy. What the f is happening? Oh my god, this is crazy! This looks so cool, too. Oh my god! The animation looks so good. Actually looks so good. And she's out. Did it work? That certainly looks like a body. No way it worked. Oh my god. Uh, Jesus Christ, the amount of blood in these past two episodes is crazy. She's... Oh my god. Oh my god, it's actually her. Holy shit. I was not expecting this. Yeah, she's also not dressed. You're alive, but you're like a blood figure. She's just all red. <laughs> I think Marcial just used up all her magic she had. Ah, uh, so the blood is like kind of starting to fade away. Also, she's got her eyes open. Which is interesting, because every flashback we've seen, she rarely ever opens her eyes. So, interesting how she's just got them consistently open now. I really thought we were maybe going to have it to where we had we were going to try... The next objective was going to be to, like, free her soul or something. But no. We actually brought her back to life in this episode, and it looked beautiful. The amount of, like, blood in the past two episodes in comparison to the literal rest of the show... The first ten episodes had, like, barely any blood. Like, there was... Like, blood and whatever, but this the past two episodes have just been so much. It's just such an interesting contrast and such a twist for the story. But I like this. She's back to life. Literally was, like, just dr completely drenched in blood, and it's starting to kind of uh, drip away now. Aww. Yeah, it actually worked. Yeah, she's still very much out of it. <laughs> Mar what is that position Marcial's in right now? Just the feet kicked up? <laughs> I seriously, like, I don't know. The way they were making it seem last episode and the beginning of this episode, I really did not expect this super wholesome outcome. I really didn't. I honestly did not think we were going to be able to revive Marcial, or, or not Marcial, revive Falling like this easily. Easily might not be the right word because Marcial had to use some black magic, but. Interesting. A little confused is an understatement. <laughs> she just can't get full words out yet. Oh, she's hungry. I think, gang, it's time for us to cook up a dragon. It's time for us to cook up a good old dragon. Okay, we got a bath scene here. <laughs> Oh my- Okay, I was just- wanted to get past that for a second so there wasn't two naked people on my screen. Um, <laughs> Alright, we got our first, like, bath scene of the entire show, but makes sense. You, she needed a good wash after how covered in blood she was. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, she used up all her magic earlier. Whoa! Oh. Uh, but I do. Oh. Are we... 
are we sure that resurrection didn't do something to her? <laughs> I'm like very off put by how easily this went through. Like I wasn't expecting this at all, but it went through, I guess. I'm just kind of a little bit, a little bit uh, skeptical still, if that makes any sense. I have to wonder if Marcio's black magic really did anything to her. Like, maybe that would explain why she's so full on magic at the moment? A lot has happened, girl. Girl, so much stuff happened. So much stuff happened. That's one way to put it. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, we had quite the journey to get here. It wasn't even necessarily bad to any degree. But yeah, no regrets here at all. I also like how the fingertips are still like a little stained with blood because blood is not that easy to get out. Sure, you can clean a lot of yourself, but there's still going to be parts that are kind of stained and more difficult to get out. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get back now. <laughs> yeah, finally, I don't think you want to know. You're still penniless, yeah. You're still broke as hell. Oh, he did now. She's not one of those dark elves. Uh-oh. She's right there. <laughs> That's a very fair point. That is a very fair point. It's much for all of us to forget about it. Yeah. What method did she use? Oh, okay. He's <laughs> just immediately moving past it. Oh. Off since she goes. He's in a very good mood. Yeah, he's wanted to cook that dragon for forever now. He's going to cook the dra- Wait. Oh no. Jesus. I mean, I think he'll be all right, but <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. The crotch all up on the screen. What happened there? Was that falling that did that? Yeah, it is. Wow. She really did get a power buff from that resurrection. She's gonna be a huge asset going forward. <laughs> that would have been ideal. Here we go with this show, man. <laughs> making him take a bath. Is he making a pizza? Oh my god, he's making pizzas. He's making pizzas. He's making, essentially making pizzas. <laughs> this is crazy. Marinate and sauce, huh? That looks so good. Dragon tail soup, onion pizza, roast red dragon. We got a goddamn feast. We got a whole goddamn feast for saving Falling. That stuff actually looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's di she's diving in first. I mean, she's been dead for a while. It's her first meal. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, it is the first meal you've had in a long ass time. I'm, I'm like partly surprised that she wasn't adverse at all. I mean, to be fair, Falling seems like a more go with the flow kind of person than an object person like Marcielle is. Um, I'm a little, I still am a little surprised that she didn't object even in the slightest or didn't, she didn't even question why the hell they were eating the dragon, but... I, I partly expected that, but partly at the same time, she's been dead for a while and hasn't eaten, so she was probably pretty hungry. She probably saw the first food in front of her and was like, I'm gonna eat this sh I don't care what it is. <laughs> so, either way, I, I could see it both. Oh my god, that is some tough meat. 
Oh, it tastes like the living armor. Interesting. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Look at look at Senshi. Falling just looks so confused. There's Senshi rocking back and forth, and then, of course, Marcio and Chilchuck are just not impressed in the slightest. This whole frame just perfectly describes the group's dynamic to a T. You got Senshi, loving life, loving eating the dragon. Falling just looks a little bit confused, and Chuchuk and Marcel are not impressed. <laughs> Your brother is a bit of a. <laughs> wow! <laughs> She's good. <laughs> I like that she's like just as interested in the in the monster food as Lyos is. That's actually fucking hilarious that she is just as interested as he is. And then <laughs> Falling was thinking, or not Falling, uh, Marcial was thinking maybe she'd have a friend and that they'd both be weirded out by constantly eating monsters. But nope, Falling's totally on board. Also, Falling is just adorable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. She was terrified of her being just like Laios. <laughs> Laios is so... Yeah, Chilchuk wouldn't let him. Yeah, do in fact have one living in your sword. Yeah. That little tisk from Chilchug there. He figured out... <laughs> dur dur that is still one of my favorite episodes from this entire show. This entire show is when Kinsuke jumped away from Lyos and Chilchuk is just like staring at him with a thousand yard stare when they're both trying to hide underneath the dragon. That is still... Like, that easily is one of my favorite moments in the entire show. That was so funny. And now Chilchuk is making him show everybody. <laughs> It would be simpler. It would be very simpler. That's not the correct grammar at all. <laughs> oh, he didn't- he didn't get- he wasn't a tisk, it was a shh. <laughs> There's Kensuke. <laughs> and Falling loves it. <laughs> Yes, this is my favorite episode so far. It's like I love the dragon fight last episode. This is my favorite episode by far. Every moment, of, every moment of this episode has been so good. Like this, easily my favorite episode of the series so far. Just the way it was like squaring up its little tentacle arms. It was trying to fight falling. <laughs> oh. oh my god. ほかの魔物に反応するのが便利で、つい。そういえば妙にするどいことがあった。いや、ぺ。ぺ。ぺ。ぺ。ぺ。ぺ。ぺ。ぺ。ぺ。ぺ。ぺ。ぺ。
the fact that Lyles didn't react to that at all immediately tells me that he knows that Falling is able to see spirits like that. Cool. I don't got nothing else to say besides that's fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> You'll always be my little girl, huh? Aww. It's too fucking adorable. Cleaning up the armor down there. Oh, yeah. Still itching at the leg. Oh! Oh my god! She didn't even further heal than... than what Marcielle did. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. oh my god, her hair is still a mess. He really did screw up her hair. Oh. I think everybody heard that interaction. Yeah, that, everybody heard that interaction there. What's going on here? Oh. Wait, guys, we didn't erase the magic. Liz! I was so right! I was so right! Oh my god, I was so right. I was so f***ing right. That is the elf from the paintings that Lyos went into. I made a theory last episode that this elf is the mage that they've been talking about over and over and over. The mage who runs this dungeon. The I, I forget exactly if they called him slash her, I don't know the gender of the elf, but, uh, called them the king or, uh, or the leader of the dungeon. I can't remember the title that was gifted. I think they call just called him the mad mage of the dungeon or something like that. And all of those names could be wrong, but this, this is the one who's running the dungeon right here. This is the elf that Lyo saw in that goddamn flashback. I fucking knew it. I knew that I was onto something with that. And so this is the one we've got to defeat if we want to claim the dungeon like the orcs were telling him back all the way back in episode 5. It's gonna end the episode. No! That was my favorite episode of the se of this series so far. For sure. I was absolutely- there was not even- there wasn't even any action this episode, but that was my favorite episode of the entire series. Absolutely. Without a shadow of a doubt, that was my favorite episode of the series. There's so many good- I'm gonna struggle to pick a thumbnail for this video. There's so many goddamn good thumbnail frames from this episode, it's crazy. <laughs> Falling as a whole is just f***ing adorable. This whole segment was absolutely crazy. Oh my god. Such a good episode. Like I said over and over again, this is my favorite episode of the series. It's not even close either, I don't think. Like, I- I have enjoyed this episode so much, like, I, especially recently, I've really started loving the show. The past, like, three to four episodes have really got me hooked into the show. The first, like, eight were good. They were good. They had good lore. The cooking was good. But really, these past, like, three-ish episodes have really got me hooked. Like, I, I'm, I'm loving this series more than I ever have. And this episode as well was by far my favorite of the entire series to date. So many wholesome moments. The crazy stuff with Marcial's uh, forbidden magic at the beginning. I mean, just so much crazy shit went on this episode. Following's fucking adorable. She's a lot different than we've seen in the flashbacks, honestly. I thought she was a much more stoic, given from what we'd seen from the flashbacks. But she is a very, very adorable person. And it's so wholesome to see her and Marcielle's relationship and how much Marcielle cares for her and how much Lyos cares for her as well with that hug at the end. Just so much good stuff and it's- I'm so happy- I'm- I wasn't expecting such a happy conclusion, but I'm also very happy that we got a happy conclusion if that makes any sense. Like, this episode was so good. Uh, as a whole, this episode was, uh, like I said, probably my favorite of the series so far. Um, but I think that is grabbing it from my action to, del to Delicious in Dungeon, uh, episode 12. Hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you all have a good day.